All right, class, welcome to week two. So this class will have you writing a term paper. Um, for the term paper, you have to choose a topic. Um, topic can range from anything that you feel is important regarding the reading material. So it will be based on reading material from the book. You can choose any short story, any um, graphic story um, that we've been um, reading and uh, discussing in class. When writing a term paper, it's important to uh, choose a thesis statement. What is a the uh, what makes a strong thesis? A strong thesis um, is an arguable claim. If you can argue it, if it's debatable, that's a good thesis. Obvious observations uh, or statements of fact do not make a good thesis. For example, fast food is unhealthy. That's a rather a basic and um, weak thesis statement because most people will agree that fast food is unhealthy. Um, a better thesis statement is a debatable claim that you must argue and prove. For example, not all fast food is unhealthy. You can see that it is much more controversial. People will disagree, people will agree. Therefore, if you can make a thesis statement that people can disagree with, it's a far more productive uh, way to write a paper. Um, an, other ways to, a strong thesis is clear, concise, uses strong vocabulary, and is to the point. Oftentimes students make the mistake of trying to uh, write using a lot of vocabulary. That's not necessary. It's better to be concise and clear. Remember who your audience is. Your audience is me and your classmates. Um, also, the term paper will uh, be written in APA format and the standard academic structure for writing a paper. This includes the five paragraph structure. If you want to do more than five paragraphs, you're welcome to do that. But every paper must have at least an introduction and a conclusion and at least three body paragraphs. So your first paragraph is the introduction. An introduction um, tells the reader a little bit of the background information um, that your paper will involve. It will introduce who you're writing about, what you're writing about, and your thesis. Thesis statements should be at the end of an introduction. Doesn't have to be at the end, could be uh, near the end, but it mu an introduction must include a thesis statement. Then there is your first paragraph. The first paragraph is your first key point. So every thesis argument or thesis statement should you should be um, try to explain it in three ways. So primarily each paragraph will um, explain the three main points of your thesis. Um, every paragraph needs a topic sentence. A topic sentence tells us the reader what your paragraph will be about and how you will go about um, proving that point. How do you prove points in a literature class? You prove points by getting quotes, quotes from the your reading material. You actually have to quote. So get relevant uh, lines, sentences, words that you feel support your thesis. Every, every paragraph should also have a uh, um, transition. A transition is helps with flow and understanding, makes your writing easier to understand and better to comprehend. And lastly, your conclusion can be a summary. You can talk about 
how your paper, um, any personal meaning, any universal meaning. What is it that we can learn from your paper? What are you providing in terms of universal or personal meaning? And that's all for week two. Thank you.